Hello, this is Greg from SharePoint Maven. And in this video, I would like to show you how you can attach a Microsoft Teams channel to an existing folder in SharePoint. Uh, let me explain to you what I'm talking about. So um, I have this uh, Project ABC site. It's a SharePoint team site, of course, and it happens to be connected to Microsoft Teams. So here's the site. If I go inside of the document library, this is what it looks like from SharePoint side of things. Uh, let me navigate to, uh, you know, uh, to Teams interface. So obviously, uh, I just have one channel, general channel. And if you click on shared, uh, you know, tab, uh, I obviously get to see documents inside of that uh, channel. Now, um, I already explained in some other videos on my uh, YouTube channel the relationship between uh, Teams and SharePoint, but uh, long story short, every time you create a standard channel in uh, Microsoft uh, Teams, yeah, it actually creates uh, a folder in SharePoint, and that's where files reside. So, for example, this uh, general channel, which is kind of the default channel that we have, uh, you will notice it was created when I, you know, the, the folder in SharePoint was created when I created this channel. And um, yeah, if I navigate, let me actually navigate to um, to SharePoint. Here we go. You see, essentially, uh, this is the same channel you saw in Microsoft, uh, you know, Teams from the Microsoft Teams interface. Uh, now, um, here's a situation. Um, let me actually uh, first create another channel. Let's just say I want to add another uh, channel from um, uh, from the essentially uh, Microsoft Teams interface, of course. Uh, let's say we want initiation, all right? That's by doing channels for different phases of the project, all right? And I'm going to create standard channel. Let's just um, choose this layout, uh, uh, the regular post layout. I'm going to click Create. So I want to drive you through this first to kind of show you what uh, happens when you just create a, a standard channel because this will set me up for what I'm about to show you next. Um, once again, we have this um, standard channel created. And of course, when I click on the share tab, um, sometimes because it's a new channel, sometimes it takes uh, a few seconds, uh, but uh, eventually it will uh, show me the contents right here uh, of uh, that uh, channel. Obviously it's empty for now, but if I were to go to, let's go to SharePoint, look at this. We now got uh, the same, essentially the, the folder with the same name that matches the name of the channel. All right, so I can either upload documents here or from the SharePoint, uh, uh, I'm sorry, from Microsoft Teams interface. But here is a use case now, and that's essentially what I want to explain in this particular video. Um, let's say you create a folder outside of Microsoft Teams. All right, maybe it was an old site that you have been using and you connected Microsoft Teams later. Uh, or maybe, you know, again, some user created uh, a folder in here. Let's actually do that. I'm going to create a folder. And that's for another phase of the project planning. All right, just like that. And here is our folder. Now, um, uh, it actually shows you right here. That's why I kind of expanded this menu. Uh, this one says in channels, this one says in site library. So in channels, shows you the folders that have a mapped channel in Teams, all right? So this two. Uh, Insight Library shows you all the other folders you have created uh, at the root of this library, which, you know, um, you know, which is what I just did, planning. Obviously, if I go to Microsoft Teams right now, we're not going to see that planning channel. Why? Because uh, obviously I just created a regular yellow folder um, I did not really create a channel, but what if, what if now we need uh, a channel uh, to accompany this, uh, uh, you know, this folder? Uh, and uh, again, let's pretend I already have some stuff in that folder, so it, it's a folder we have been using for a while. Well, guess what? Uh, it's actually pretty easy to do. All you need to do is just create a channel but make sure to spell the same exact name as the name of the folder. And what will happen behind the scenes, uh, instead of the new folder being created, uh, it's actually going to just map uh, uh, you know, a channel to that existing folder. Let me show you. So uh, let's uh, go to Microsoft Teams again. 
I'm going to create another channel, just like that. Again, very important to spell it exactly uh, like the name of the folder. And we choose standard. And once again, let's just choose this layout for pause. Here we go. Um, the channel has been created. But let's go now to SharePoint site and check what happened there. So back to SharePoint. I'm going to refresh my screen now. So look, no new folders have been uh, you know, created. And if I click on channels, look at this. Now it shows me that this folder that I used to have is mapped to Microsoft Teams channel. So pretty, pretty powerful. All right. Um, you know, great, uh, obviously, if you already have an existing library and then decided to uh, add a Teams component on top of it, or once again, created some folders outside of um, uh, Teams um, application. Now. Uh, let's talk about some uh, important nuances uh, related to this. So first of all, and this is pretty big, um, this only applies to standard channels. So if I go back to Microsoft Teams, you know how when you create a channel, you can choose between standard, shared, and private? Only applies to standard channels. Why? Because when you create a standard channel, it actually creates a folder in a SharePoint site in a document library. With shared and private channels, it actually creates a totally separate site. All right, so you cannot really map those. So even you know, uh, if you have a SharePoint site of some sort and want to convert it to a shared or private channel, this trick is not going to work. It only works for folders on a SharePoint site and only for standard channels. Uh, another thing that I want uh, to um, uh, bring to your attention, and it's kind of important, I actually outlined it in, uh, in a blog post of mine, which I will include in the description of this video. But if um, obviously my names of those folders were pretty straightforward, or just one word, but in case if you have uh, some um, you know, weird characters in your folder names, the channels are pretty restrictive. When you create a channel, some of those characters might not be allowed. All right, when you uh, map a channel. So what you will need to do is just kind of rename uh, the uh, you know the existing folder and um, uh, you know keep uh, keep the name uh, pretty simple without all those weird characters. And uh, at that point of time, you can actually connect uh, a channel to it. All right. So that's all I really wanted to, uh, to mention on this video. Um, in my opinion, it's a great technique. Obviously, avoids duplication. Um, and all these additional folders that you might uh, end up with the, within your library. Uh, just uh, you know, make sure you uh, keep in mind those few nuances I mentioned. Uh, but for now, thank you very much for watching. As always, happy to see you on my blog, sharepointmaven.com, as well as my YouTube channel. Goodbye.